Hi, Jack. Here is uh, two of the Konica Minolta Biza C364E. Uh, the E is the newer version of the regular 364. Basically, they're the same machine, um, but it, it is a newer version. Uh, it's the latest version out for Konica. Uh, so let me tell you a little about each one. Starting with the one on the left, you got two universal paper cassettes and a stand. Uh, it's got the upgraded uh, document feeder, which is a dual scan document feeder, which means if you're scanning double sided documents, it will scan it just in one single path, uh, which is very nice. It, uh, it's very handy for people who are scanning uh, double sided documents. Uh, the scan speed now increases from 80 pages per minute single sided to 160 pages if you're scanning double sided, which is very, very nice. Uh, second machine is uh, also the same model, 364E, two cassettes, and it's got the internal finisher, uh, just similar to the uh, 364 I showed you yesterday. Uh, it also has a dual scan document feeder, and these document feeders are options. They're about a $600 upgrade, and they both have it. Uh, so um, one thing I'm gonna start off by showing you is the meter count. These are extremely low meter counts on both of these machines. This one is only 17,000 uh, copies, 5,000 in black and 12,000 in color. And let's move over to this one. This one has only 14,000 in uh, total count, 6,000 in black and 8,000 in color. So it's very rare for us to see machines of this, uh, this kind of meter come in. Uh, they're practically fresh, brand new out of a box. Uh, one thing I gotta let you know is these machines do not last long. Uh, most dealers are the ones who walk in and take these before any of them. So if you're looking to get a machine, I don't want you to think that I'm pushing you, but you, you should probably at least leave a deposit for these so we can hold it. So anyhow, let's go ahead and uh, test the copy quality on this machine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, oops, wrong one, let me go here. I'm going to do a demo page on both uh, machines so you can see the quality of it. And I'm going to go ahead and do it on this as well. So they're both going to be printing. So here's this one. And this one should be coming out in just a second. There we have it. So, here it is. Let me get rid of this test sample here from this one. And I'll get rid of this test sample. Uh, we run test samples on these to make sure everything's good. So here is the quality. As you can see, it's very, very clean. And here's this one right here that just printed out. Very clean. It's, here, I'll put them side by side so you can see they're identical looking copies. Uh, let me do a better job in this. Here we go, so it's very clean. Now, these machines don't have that many copies, so they're, they're in brand new condition. Let me go ahead and show you the consumable levels on these. Um, these have everything, it's, it's practically brand new. Developers, 98%, drums, 85%. Everything is completely full. Transfer belt, fuser, everything. Go ahead and show you the consumables here. Same thing here. Okay, so it's the machines are practically brand new. So, oops, let me go to the next page. I forgot to show you the fuser, also brand new, transfer belt brand new. So, these, there's no way they would not qualify for a service agreement. Let's go ahead and uh, let me show you the what I'm talking about, a dual scan. Here is your secondary scanner right here. And right here is your other secondary scanner. So this is a dual scanner document feeder. Whereas your regular ones, such as, let me see if it's this one. This one does not have it, as you can see. So this is your regular reverse document feeder, which will scan it once, flip it around, scan it again, so it takes twice the speed. Whereas this one would just come one pass, would do both sides. So let me go ahead and walk around. Um, as you can see, this looks exactly the same as the 364s. They're really the same exact machines, but it is a newer version. Uh, one thing I need to point out that on the newer versions, the key do not the, the display 
uh, does not slide to the uh, left like the old ones. Here's a 364. I actually like this feature. I don't know why they got rid of it, but um, in order for you to get the keyboard, I think they did it just to make money, to be honest with you, because um, let me show you. Uh, for the newer version, if you wanted a keypad, you would have to buy that little option, which is this unit here. It's about $150. It's an upgraded version for the newer machines. This, as you can see, is a 454E. So, here's another 364. It slides. I actually like that, but they must have their reasons why they took it out. So, let me go ahead and walk around both machines. Here is the front of this machine. Very clean. Here is the front of this machine. Top, bottom, very clean. I'm going to go to the left side of the machine. I'm going to show you the finisher that I was telling you about, the stapling finisher and the booklet finisher. I'll show you the difference in a second. Here's the back of it. Okay. Here is, here's the, let me first show you the left, oh, I don't want to disconnect it. I'll show you in a second. Hold on. Here's the back of this machine, the side of this machine, clean. Here's the door. Everything's clean on this. Let me go out and show you. Here is the left side of this machine. And let me show you the inside of this one. There you go. So okay. Now the um this one um as you know it does not have the stapling finisher. Uh this is the finisher that I was telling you about. This is right here is your regular stapling finisher. Uh, it's a 50 sheet stapling finisher, collate staples. And this is the saddle stitch finisher I was telling you about. They look the same, but this one's got the mechanism on the bottom. Um, this is the upgraded most expensive finisher. Uh, it's a heavier finisher. This whole unit slides out. And this is your booklet making mechanism right there. Okay. And once you... Um, once the booklets are made, it will fall off here. Uh, it does buy a uh, trifold and fold in half. Very nice. It's the upgraded version. This is the one I was telling you. I'll go ahead and just give it to you at our cost. Um, but if, if you don't want that, then you'll go ahead and just uh, get this regular stapling finisher, okay? So anyhow, if you have any questions on any of these machines, uh, you know where to reach me. I'll go ahead and follow up with a phone call and I'll let you know, but as you can see, uh, I think this is a great, a wise choice. I, I would jump on this if I were you. Okay, I'll talk to you soon, Jack. Bye.